Primal blueprint law number one is eat lots of plants and animals. Pretty basic, humans evolved as omnivores. So we ate insects and plants and roots and shoots and tubers and animals and uh, whatever we could get our hands on basically. So we developed the um, digestive tract to handle a lot of different types of food. Uh, and I think that that's what our genes expect of us today, a wide variety of foods. So we're looking for clean sources of protein. Uh, by that I mean, you know, not containing hormones and antibiotics. We want to try and get, um, the, you know, the cleanest protein possible to mimic what our ancestors would have eaten 10,000 or a million years ago. Uh, that means eating vegetables, which contain phytonutrients, antioxidants, things like that. Uh, vegetables that contain certain soluble fibers that feed our gut bacteria. Uh, we want to eat healthy fats, so we want to stay away from trans fats and partially hydrogenated fats and oils, industrial seed oils and things like that, and limit our fat intake to those what, what we now call healthy fats, uh, primarily monounsaturated fats, the type that are found in avocado, avocado oil, um, uh, olive oil, uh, things like that. Food was actually the first law of the 10 because in my mind it's probably the most important thing to get right when you're trying to reaccess your health. Standard American diet now when we look at all of the things that people are doing, uh, consuming whether it's uh, trans fats, partially hydrogenated fats and oils, um, sugar, added sugar, artificial sweeteners, artificial colors, uh, you know all sorts of franken foods, created processed foods, these are not things that we evolved to, to digest, we didn't evolve to uh, assimilate uh, artificial, ar artificially created chemicals, things like that. So it's really of paramount importance that any other aspect of health has to sort of take the lead of getting your diet right in the first place. So the Primal Blueprint Pyramid is based, still based on uh, plants at the bottom level, at the, at the base of it, if you will. Um, because I, f I find that uh, whether you're going to be eating ketogenically or whether you're going to be primal or paleo or whatever it is, uh, plants should still be an important part of your diet. Um, quality source of protein doesn't take a lot of protein to fill out uh, one's macronutrient requirement for protein. Uh, similarly with, with fats, healthy fats are further up the pyramid, um, again monounsaturated fats being sort of the main primary source, but some amount of saturated fats are okay and some omega-3 fats and a little bit of omega-6 uh, within reason. Uh, then we also have some uh, moderation foods, things like wine uh, on occasion or uh, dark chocolate, uh, things that um, may be considered indulgences, but still when you're looking to create a, a way of eating that is interesting and exciting and, and sustainable, uh, you need to allow that amount of variation. So as long as you don't go overboard with these uh, with these sorts of foods, they're allowed within moderation.